Hey everyone, welcome back to Coach Chip's channel. Today, episode 7, we're going to look at one back power. We were doing it the other day on episode 6, but when I went back and looked at it, for some reason at the end, it kind of got cut off and I was rushed trying to get through it, trying to keep you all from being in here so long. So today, I'm kind of like, this is kind of episode 6B, but we'll call it episode 7 just for the sake of organization on the YouTube page, on the YouTube channel. We're going to look at one back power which everybody knows what that is, I guess. I always call the scheme the gut scheme, as I mentioned the other day. I also didn't like when I was showing y'all different things. I left people up here and, and didn't erase it. And at one point, it looked like I was playing Canadian football, and, and we don't play Canadian football down here in Alabama. In East Alabama and West Georgia, we play good old 11-man football, but it kind of looked that way. And For somebody that didn't know or kind of picked up on it, I know people are in and out on these things. So I want to go back and do a better job of just covering one back power, or as I like to call it, the gut scheme. Now you can do it, you can move that guy around like I told you the other day. You can put him here, the tailback, the running back, or you can put him here, same side, on both these. And we're also going to look at the odd front today and how we can block the odd front up as well using these rules right here. Play side tackle, man fan, play side guard, down man fan, center man back left, backside guard, wrap right to backer, and backside tackle, man fan, or if you want to, you can read the backside defensive end and have him get first linebacker inside. Now one of the reasons why I basically do it man fan is because we're not going to get this guy a lot of times anyway. High school tackles are just not going to get that guy, most high school tackles, unless he just steps up in here and gets caught up. So we kind of went away from that and just do man-fan on both sides of it. And if you got a really athletic quarterback, you can just have him go in here knowing he's not going to make the play, make the block if you get the give. But he will get the guy sealed inside if the end squeezes and your quarterback keeps it in place. It's kind of like the old zone read idea that was got so popular in the late 90s and all up through the 2000s. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Let's look at our blocking rules. Let's draw them up. All right, first off, play side, man fan. That simply means there's a man on him, he's got him. No man on him, block out. Boom, right there. Also, what the man fan rule tells him, if you got a four tech right here, means he's a 50-50 player. He knows he needs to, he's driving him, but he wants to get inside to drive him. The fan tells him the ball's coming inside of him. The word fan in his rule. All right, the play side guard rule is a little different. It's down man fan. Or you look here at the even front. Down. Anything down? No. Is there a man? Yes, and he's on my outside. So I'm going to drive him out. Now come down here to the odd front. Go through your rule play side guard. Down, down, man, fan. Is there a man down? Absolutely. Drive him. Okay? We'll block down on him and drive him. The center is man back left. Now, the way I coach up the man back left, we always used to have him block back. Because one year we had a center that was so small, he had to block back on everything or get help. There was one game where he got his shoulder pads pulled up over his helmet. He looked like one of those costumes for the headless horseman of Sleepy Hollow. But um, and that's how little he was. His big old nose guard was abusing him. So we always had him block back and get angles and things like this. But what I would do, let's look at his rule, man back left. No man, block back to the left. Even front, you got a man, boom. And what I coach him to do, when you get a man back left, you're getting help. So he'll come off and chip off and get here, okay? And if he steps up, we got him. If he scrapes over the top, we're not going to get him anyway. And depending on who you play, you got a board dog playing nose, the team you're playing, just go ahead and tell him that week, hey, you get a man back, stay with him. Stay with the man because the guard's going to need help if he's that tough. All right, and then the backside guard, the left guard in this case is going to wrap right. He's going to wrap around this down block tight and get backer. As I mentioned the other day, if we're doing a jet motion and we're really good at jetting, which we usually are, this guy will make that call and he'll go out and we'll get him scraping. That's the one we'll get. And how we coach him up is we tell him if Mike is running away, don't chase him. I always tell my guys if they got a linebacker, never chase them. I said linebackers are like public buses up in Atlanta. You know, there's going to be another one by here in just a minute. Okay, so don't chase him. 
Now against this front right here, the odd front, he's going to wrap around right here. Same concept. If Mike is chasing, don't, uh, chasing the jet, you don't chase him. Okay? And you'll just get the guy scraping from the backside. All right, then the backside tackle, his rule is man-fan. No man, block out. Man-fan, you got a four-tech. So you want to drive it, and remember, the word fan tells him the ball's coming inside of you, so get inside and drive blocking. All right, now, what if you're not a jet team? What if you're just getting in two by two and you just want to run the play? How do you account for the fact you're outnumbered on the inside? Well, one thing you can do, you make a call and have him come to here and you read this cat right here. And if he squeezes with the tackles down block, the quarterback will go where he was. Basic read. Do the same thing down here with this guy. Just make a call and get him up in there. All right, the other thing that we've started doing and did it pretty well this year is we would go ahead and man fan him, block the rule, just like we said, block the rule, man fan, and do a little RPO off of it. And we talked about this the other day on the uh, episode six. All right, so what we'll do is we'll read the wheel. And what the quarterback will do, he'll read the wheel. If the wheel is coming hard here, committed to the run, or steps up in any shape, form, or fashion, then he's giving you that. So quarterback, riding the side, pop up, throw it right here. Now, good tackle, man fan, we're going to go ahead and almost pass hi-hat him and get his butt coming right here, taking him out of the passing lane. Go ahead and step inside, turn him, give him the upfield. Now, I know a lot of D-line coaches out there are not going to like what I'm about to say, but most high school and below level, you know, junior high and rec league and all that, most high school D-linemen, they're like water. They're going to take the path of least resistance. So if you get your butt inside and give him upfield and then run with him, you got him blocked. And it's an easy block and it opens it up. So Will flies to the dive, to the give. Easy right there. That's slim. I mean, that's not even slim pickings. That's fat. And you're going to eat on that right there. It's the same thing down here. We're going to read this cat right here. Press that A gap, stick it in right here. Will steps up or scrapes right here. Anything where he can't make that play, boom, you got that backside slant right there. And we toyed with that a few years ago, and this year we really did it a lot, and we took it all the way to the state championship. So that's it for right now. It's Coach Chip, Episode 7. Remember, you can reach me at Siegel.Chip. It's S-E-A-G-L-E dot C-H-I-P at gmail.com. Or you can get me on Twitter, at Chip Siegel, S-E-A-G-L-E. And this has been the One Back Power, and how you can run this thing when they've got you outnumbered in the box. And down here, you're not outnumbered, but you're all right. But just like I always say, guys and gals, keep on jetting and be elite. <laughs>